I skipped class on Friday. I skipped class, packed my bags, and drove two and a half hours to Woof. Woof stands for Worldwide Opportunities Through Organic Farms. It's a website that connects people with farmers. In exchange for your volunteer work, they give you a place to stay and food. I went to a blueberry farm and wasn't sure what to expect. The first night was awesome. Me and the other woofer, Lisa, helped bottle wine that the owner, Rich, had been fermenting. There were plenty of mistakes to be made. Oh, very uncool. Messes to be cleaned up it's good. It's, and know, last to be like had. But hey, by the end of the night, we had some pretty decent wine. And then the next morning came the hard work. This is pine bark. This is a lot of pine bark. Our job was to shovel it into the trailer. And then put it down on the rows of blueberry plants. Next, we flattened it out with our hands and repeated the process. Shovel it, drop it, and spread it out. We would do this until the sun was low in the sky. When you work that hard with someone for that long, you really get to know them. So I was living in LA and working in Beverly Hills selling lasers, surgical lasers in Beverly Hills, where my grandparents had died. So I told them that I was gonna buy the land from them and that I would sell off the last of the herd that we've had in our family for over a century and basically start a blueberry farm. As my brother's girlfriend on Christmas day surprised me with a gift. She opened up my laptop, went to the Woofing website and there were pictures of, of the farm and a write-up about what we do. And I thought to myself, this is fantastic. What a great gift. And she explained to me what woofing was. So the thing about it is uh, I didn't know what to expect. And I didn't think it would work, to tell you the truth. I mean, who would want to come out in the middle of nowhere and spread pine bark and plant blueberry bushes? Well, it turns out a lot of people did. What they get out of it is, I think, is a reconnection to the land a real appreciation for what goes into making food. There's a lot that goes into all the ingredients to make our food, and blueberry farming is no different. But, but it's so much more than this. It's not just about agriculture, it's about connecting with people. And watching two woofers interact with each other that have never met each other before, it's magic. I've seen people fall in love here from two completely different countries. I've taught one woofer how to swim. Uh, I've got two other woofers' jobs. I've been referenced <laughs> many times over. A lot of the skills they learn here are things that they never would have learned otherwise, like how to drive a tractor, how to use heavy equipment, how to care for plants. All of those things really aren't going to help them get that next accounting job, but it does show that they can be responsible, productive members of society, and that has value. For, for me, it was a, a deal breaker to, to not go organic. It had to be organic. I mean, at the end of the day, I make a fraction of the money I otherwise would if staying in corporate America where I was. So I, it had to be something wholesome for me. I have children, and when they're walking down the rows and they're going shoulder deep into blueberries to pull out the fruit, they pop them into their mouth right from the bush, I don't have to worry about all the chemicals. There's a lot of pesticides, there's a lot of herbicides, there's fungal sprays that conventional farmers put on there that's just not good for your health. It's just not good for your health. There's been some studies by Stanford University and other institutions that have shown that the nutrient levels uh, are not significantly different. I think they're not looking at it the right way. Nutrient levels are immaterial if your food is covered in chemicals. On our last night, we had dinner and a bonfire. I've never been in better company. I don't plan on ever being a farmer, but I never thought I could learn so much in two days. I left feeling so much more conscious about nature. I left with an eagerness to go back. Nothing beats pine bark.